Okay, and did you, um, within six months, find a girlfriend? I, th I think I didn't make the six month deadline, but it was just after. And uh, what were the initials of this girlfriend so we don't have to use her name? Uh, KS. And was this a girl that you went with twice over two different time periods? Yes. Now, you also said that um, the first three and a half months that you were in California, there was no sexual activity whatsoever by your father. Right. Did you know why that was true? No, I had no idea. Now, when the uh, sex started up again in, after the three and a half or so months in California, uh, this was before you had met your mother's deadline for getting a girlfriend. Is that right? I'm sorry? Was this before you met your mother's deadline, before you got your girlfriend? What was? The sex in California yes. starting up again. Yeah, long before. How did you feel about the relationship with that girlfriend, that first girlfriend? Well, it was like a new life for me. It was, uh, it was something that I had never experienced before. And uh, suddenly, I was actually happy uh, sometimes. I was, I felt really, I looked forward to seeing her and I felt really warm when I was with her and it, it, uh, it, it made me really insecure at times but it also made me feel more comfortable. And did it have any effect on your feelings about uh, what was going on between yourself and your father? Yeah, it had a big effect. And, and what was that? It made me really, really despise, really hate what was happening with Dad. It made me really, really dread it and uh, really, really hate it. Was there something that you were worried about more so than ever once you had a girlfriend Objection concerning the sex? Objection sustained. What were your concerns now that you had a girlfriend? Um, with respect, to, well, strike that. Were there any new concerns that you had concerning the sex with your father now that you were seeing a girl? No concerns about him, just concerns about her finding out about me. Do you recall, uh, Mr. Menendez, whether there were ever sexual incidents with your father on days when you had dates with your girlfriend? Yes, uh, yes. And was there anything uh, notable about that? Yes, sometimes I just refused to go out on the date. I remember one time when I was about a month after we started dating, um, my dad had come into my room and I was supposed to meet her and I called her and I said, I was crying and I said, I want to end the relationship. And she wouldn't let me end it because I wouldn't tell her why, but uh, I just had a lot of I had a lot of confusion, a lot of problems with it. Now, you've testified that in the very early years of the uh, sexual relationship with your father, you actually didn't have negative feelings about it because you felt it was a closeness with him? No, I didn't have um, very many negative feelings about him coming into my room and being with me. I didn't, when I was young, I, I didn't, you know, I, I, I didn't like some of the things that was happening, but I thought it was just something that I'd get used to. I thought it was me um, when I was younger. And so were you actively seeking or thinking of ways to end it when you were young, say under 11, or not? No, not at all. Now, when it got violent at, at 11, okay, um, I think you've described a period when after that you were very depressed, you tried to run away, and then there was a period that you called trying to fight back, like the cinnamon and hiding and those things. Okay? Yes. Now, at that time, did you want it to end? Yes. 